there, my lovelies. I hope you had a wonderful Easter last week. We're gonna be making three decadent cheesecakes for this video. I absolutely love cheesecake. It's one of my favorite desserts. And today we're gonna to be making a Bananas Foster, a tiramisu, and a coffee cake cheesecake. So let's get started. Our coffee cake cheesecake has a layer of cake, cheesecake, and crumble on top. So first I'm gonna show you how to make the cake layer. To make the cake batter, add your butter and sugar to your mixer. Mix until the two are well combined. Next, add in your vanilla extract, coffee, milk, and eggs. Go ahead and give that a mix for another 30 seconds. I'm gonna add in my dry ingredients. In this bowl, I have my baking soda, baking powder, and salt. I'm just gonna add that to my mixer. And lastly, I'm gonna add in my flour. Continue to mix that until everything is combined together. Make sure to scrape down the sides of the bowl periodically. I sprayed my mini cheesecake tins with baking spray and then lined them with parchment paper. Then I wrapped my tins in foil because we're gonna place them in a water bath while we bake them. Then give them another spray with baking spray. Now I'm gonna add my cake batter to one of my tins about a third of the way full. And then just smooth it out and push some of the batter up against the sides of the tin. To the other two tins, I'm just gonna add a standard graham cracker crust. Just pat it down with your spoon to smooth it out and also place some of the crumbs along the side of the tin. Now we're gonna make the cheesecake filling. Add your cream cheese and sugar to your mixer and mix until the two ingredients are well combined. Next, add in the vanilla extract, sour cream, heavy cream, salt, and eggs. And then just keep mixing until everything's well combined and it's ready to add to our cheesecake tins. But first I'm gonna show you how to make the crumble that goes on top of the coffee cake cheesecake. In my bowl I have some melted butter. I'm gonna add in my flour, brown sugar, sugar, salt, and cinnamon. And just give that a mix with a fork until it starts to form little clumps. And I'm just gonna set that aside for a second. Fill the rest of the tin with the cheesecake mixture. Then fill the second tin, which will be for our Bananas Foster, all the way full. And fill the last tin a third of the way full, and I'll show you why in a second. To my tin that's a third of the way full, we're gonna take some ladyfingers, dip them in coffee, and then add them on top of the filling. Then just add the rest of the cheesecake mixture on top. To the tin with the cake batter, I'm just gonna add my crumble on top. Once you've done that, add some water to the bottom of your baking sheet. This will help prevent your cheesecake from cracking from the heat of the oven. Then just pop them in the oven and add a layer of tin foil on top to prevent your cheesecake from browning. While those bake, I'm gonna show you how to make the bananas for a Bananas Foster cheesecake. In a saute pan, I'm going to melt my butter over low heat. Then I'm gonna add some brown sugar and cinnamon and stir until the sugar dissolves. Add the banana slices and cook for one minute on each side. Then I'm just gonna remove the bananas from the skillet onto a dish. Next, I'm gonna carefully add in my rum. Now here's the fun part. You're gonna light the rum on fire to cook off all the alcohol. Just be careful with this step. Just continue to cook it until the flame dies out. Then I'm gonna turn it off the heat and set it aside until I'm ready to use it. You do not have to do this step. If you want a non-alcoholic dessert, you can just stop at taking the bananas out of the sauce. My cheesecakes have finished baking and sat in the refrigerator for four hours and are now ready to decorate. For my Bananas Foster Cheesecake, I have here some fresh whipped cream that I've just added to a Ziploc bag with a star piping tip. I'm just going to pipe some of my whipped cream on top. Then I'm going to take my banana slices and add them on top of my whipped cream. Finally, I'm going to take some of my rum sauce and drizzle that on top of the cheesecake. Look at that, it's just beautiful. Okay, now for my tiramisu cheesecake. I've cut out these thin strips of paper and I'm placing them on top of my cheesecake in a square pattern. Then I'm gonna take some cocoa powder and lightly sprinkle a layer on top of my cheesecake. Just remove the pieces of paper and that's it. Doesn't that look gorgeous? 
And lastly, for our coffee cake cheesecake, I'm gonna make a coffee icing to drizzle on top. So to some powdered sugar, I'm gonna add a little bit of coffee and a little bit of milk, and then just give that a mix. And I'm gonna drizzle that on top of my coffee cake cheesecake, and there you have it. All three mini decadent cheesecakes. I hope you enjoyed this recipe as much as I enjoyed making it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and share this video with someone that you think would enjoy it. All right, my lovelies, I'll see you back here next week. Bye.